What's going on YouTube? Another tutorial here. Uh, Robert Glasper, Black Radio 2. Uh, some people asked me some questions uh, for the Yet to Find by Anthony Hamilton. And uh, it's pretty simple to groove most of the time. I'm going to play through it. Um, there's really only two sections, kind of like the, I guess, the, the verse groove pattern. And there's like the little Glasper kind of movement. Um, I don't know if it's really a chorus, it's just kind of like a pre-chorus or just a little bit of a change and then Anthony's kind of going into the chorus over the same groove originally. So um, I'll play through this stuff and then at the end there's a little, it's a little praise and worshipy kind of um, feel. The song is very, very praise and worshipy in my opinion. So um, it's a little different style than what you would hear, I guess, a lot of stuff. So um, yeah, but I'm going to play it here and then uh, hopefully it all helps. Um, questions or anything like that, let me know. And I'll be happy to do what I can, break it down or anything like that. So uh, this should help you out, though. And uh, thanks for watching. the three sections of the song um, I go over this groove part first um, it comes right in on it it's basically uh, basically just running up the F major scale um, or you can look at it in C either one it's probably in C uh, you can look at it in C and then start on the 4 if you want or um, yeah that's probably the best way to do it um, Either way, um, let me just break this down for you or slow it down. So the first chord's here. Now you can do some movement stuff. Uh, gospel cats probably do this all the time. gospel lick and praise and worship kind of stuff so um, if you're familiar with that cool for those of you who aren't um, that's how you get in movement um, within this so there you go there so you can do it that way or you can kind of do it straighter Thank you. 
kind of pattern and also the chorus and whatnot. He just kind of goes between that. Now the, the little bridge or like the little glass per section that you hear goes from this. Goes to minor. There's your first chord. Your second one. There's your first one again. There's your second coming. So, and he plays that second chord up an octave, so. Then your third. So, again, first one. And your last one. Now you don't have to play all these, you can play this. You can play it like that. I like to thumb these like that. It's a little bit of a stretch for some people, or you can leave out that C that way I do it like that um, so whatever's comfortable um, the more clusters gives it more distance so whatever you want to do it just depends um, but that's kind of it's the voice you're using and then he does this to resolve it then repeats the same movement he does it all in the upper octave so it's this time real slow. I think again some time at the end of the song he's just vamping out on this on the on the F so But that's the basic thing you're gonna hear, and you can build around that. Um, so that should be the most of the song. I think that's all that he does in there. Um, that should, like I said, help you out um, for those of you who've been asking me about that song. So um, again, questions, anything that like that, uh, let me know, and uh, I'll be doing what I can to help you out. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.